Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back today with another tutorial for you guys. I forgot to film an intro clip, so here it is. Today's look is basically like a smoky grunge look. I'm going to the mall with my sister-in-law today and I'm very excited to do some shopping. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and the conversation piece. If you like the conversation and want to join in, obviously comment down below. I welcome everyone's opinions and different viewpoints. I love having you guys talk with me. It's amazing. But I will see you guys later. Bye. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is moisturize my skin and I'm also going to prime so I'm going to be using my Aloe Pure Skin Care Time Repair Serum as well as the Cover FX Illuminating Primer Base. You'll notice I have a planet on the side of my face. That is from the foundations, which by the way, I am not going to be trying again. I told you guys I was going to try to use them with my Maybelline Fit Me foundations, but that foundation literally was the worst foundation I think I've ever used. It broke me out the day after I had worn it and I could not believe how bad my skin was. I still have little residual bumps down here, some right here, right here, like they're everywhere but they're not as bad as they were so I'm actually very grateful that they're gone. I've been doing a treatment for them but when I returned them to the store, the lady at the front desk when I was returning them, she had asked me for my opinion on the foundation originally when I first picked them up and I told her exactly how I felt. I was like, do not waste your money on this foundation. So let's go ahead and get started with the conversation portion of this video. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Snapchat that Manny MUA had posted this past week that has gotten a lot of attention from the drama channels here in the beauty community as well as myself because I watched the snapchat when he first uploaded it and honestly I could not believe that someone that anybody would be so ungrateful for getting only half of a collection from Mac I mean the kid already gets thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of products each month in the mail for PR for free from companies you know what I mean so on top of getting all this makeup for free from these companies he's also getting these ridiculously expensive trips to Bora Bora to Paris with Jouer he got these expensive earphones from, I think it was Maybelline for his collaboration with them on their new mascara. So it's not like the kid like never gets anything cool. Like he gets the most amazing PR packages I think I've ever seen anyone get. And here he is complaining about the fact that Mac only sent him six items out of the 12 items that were released with the Caitlyn Jenner collection. I don't know guys, maybe we are taking this the wrong way. What do you guys think? Was he being ungrateful? Was he acting like a brat? Like I think he was? I don't know. And it's not like Mac has never not given him a full collection. As a matter of fact, Mac sent him and Patrick Starr out with them to Texas for the Selena release and he got the full collection from the Selena line during that trip. However, this is not the first time that he has come under fire for saying something similar to that on his Snapchat. As a matter of fact, when he was with Tarte in Bora Bora this past summer, he had uploaded a Snapchat talking about the Kylie Jenner collection that was either about to launch or that had just launched, and he was talking about how he wasn't sure if he really wanted the collection, but he did know that if he did end up wanting the collection, he didn't want to pay the $300 price tag that came along with it. So he was saying, if I could just get on that fucking PR list, I won't have to worry about paying for it. And I'm just sitting there like, okay, like, you, it's not like you make millions of dollars every single day for just sitting on your ass in front of a camera. Like, how much can $300 hurt your bank account? You know what I mean? Like, that was kind of ridiculous. I don't know, it's just kind of weird to me that these big-named influencers are all getting these ridiculous PR packages from all these brands because, in my opinion, I honestly don't really ever watch any of these big YouTubers. The only reason why I watch them is when something major happens, like drama or whatever, obviously, because I'm a nosy person. That's what we do naturally. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. I picked up the shade Warm Light. I figured that'd be a perfect shade match, which it kind of looks like it's gonna be, so that's a good thing. I didn't get a chance to use this, honestly, in the video because when I first used it in the foundation review, um, it just, it was a terrible mess with the foundation. It just didn't look good, so we're gonna try it out this time and see how it works with this foundation. So I'm gonna use my Wet n Wild Powder Brush, and we're gonna just put this all over the face and see how we like it. Alright, so, so far, I see no problems with it. I like it. It doesn't have any cakiness on my face. It actually looks pretty good. As far as the texture goes, it's a very soft, very finely milled powder, which I can appreciate. I like the more finely milled powders, so I don't know, guys. I mean, I like it. I think I think it's a really good powder. This is the one thing that I was actually very excited about trying with this entire collection. So I'm going to do a very, very light contour to my face today. I'm going to be using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. So yeah, guys, what do you guys think? Did you see him as being 
being ungrateful. I don't know, I took it as him being ungrateful because, let's be honest guys, if MAC were to send me products, I would be happy with getting one little lipstick or even one little eyeshadow pan a month, you know what I mean? And this kid gets hundreds if not thousands of dollars worth of products in his PR packages from them normally, and he's just sitting there complaining about only getting six products from a collection. Like, be happy and be grateful you even got that, you know what I mean? Like, that's a pretty big deal. Alright, so I'm gonna get started with the eyes, and for today's eye look, I want to focus on this Studio Makeup Palette. This is the makeup palette in the shade Cool Down. I just got this in my BoxyCharm box a couple months ago. And I think for today's look, I want to go with a very smoky, grungy look. To start out, I'm going to first and foremost set my lids with my Holy Grail setting powder for my eyelids. This is the Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow in the shade Creme Brulee. And to start the look off, I'm going to pick up this matte middle shade right here. It's this beautiful taupey shade with a fluffy brush. We're going to tap off the excess. Remember, building up is easier than taking away. And we're going to pretty much just tuck that into the crease and this is going to be our first transition shade. I'm going to kind of stay on the topic of greedy YouTubers. A lot of people have been complaining on Jaclyn Hill's monthly favorites videos about the fact that a lot of the products that she puts into them are all PR products that are sent to her. So they're saying that all of her monthly favorites are pretty much just commercials for these brands. All right, so now we're going to pick up this beautiful maroon right here on the same fluffy brush. And we're going to build up this color in the outside corner to pretty much just add some more depth to the look. But I'm making sure to keep this color below that original transition shade. Another thing that people are starting to call out these bigger YouTubers on is the fact that they're pretty much pushing all these products from these companies. Obviously, this has always been a problem. Pushing all these products from these companies that aren't even that good. More namely, Tati is well known for trying to push shit products. I've called her out on it before. But they're also pushing these ridiculous coupon codes that honestly don't make a difference in the price you end up paying when it comes down to all the discounts you're supposedly getting when paying for a product. If you didn't know this, a lot of those discounts that they're trying to advertise that you're going to be getting if you buy the product are already built into the standing price of the product. So really, those little coupon codes do nothing to help you. All right, so with a clean hand, I'm going to pick up this beautiful, like, dark rose goldy mauve shade on my middle finger. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys so you can see how beautiful these pigments are. This is without primer. Like, Oh my god, these are so beautiful. I'm going to pick that shade up with my finger. I'm going to just very gently dab it on to my lid. And I'm using my finger just because I don't want a lot of fallout. Alright, so I'm going to pick up this very flat brush right here. I'm going to pick up this shade right here in the palette. Just very gently, a very small amount. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend that right on that line between that shimmery shade and the matte shade in the outside corner. Just so that there's a flawless gradient look. Alright, the lighting's gonna be a little wonky, but you should see the system I have right now above me just to block out that sun just long enough so we can finish this look without any interruption with very harsh lighting. So, I'm gonna pick up that fluffy brush one more time. Very lightly, I'm gonna pick up some more of that maroon shade, and we're gonna blend just a little bit more of that in the outside corner. And then with whatever's left on the brush, we're going to bring that towards the middle of the eye. I'm going to pick up just a little bit more of that mauve shade. And we're going to go ahead and just replace whatever we lost when we were blending. Just so that this shimmery shade is the star of the look. Because I absolutely love this color. I think it's so beautiful. Alright guys, so I'm going to do my liner, put some lashes on, and mascara. And I will meet you back here for the highlighting, lips, and the rest of the bottom lash line of both my eyes. Alright, so liner and lashes are on. I'm going to go ahead and start to do my highlight highlight using the ColourPop Single Eyeshadow in the shade Valley Girl. Alright guys, so to finish off the look, I'm going to do my bottom lash line. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lash line with this Hikari Raven Black Liner. I absolutely love how creamy and how easy this is to blend out. And to blend that out on the waterline, I'm also going to blend in this maroon shade and blend those two together to really bring the whole smoky look together. And then for inner corner highlight, I'm going to pick up this shade right here on a flat shadow brush. And we're going to just pop that right into that inner corner. Now, just in case you guys want to add a little bit more drama to the look, you can just apply any matte black shade into that top outside corner of your eye, which is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to take a little, little bit from the Warm Up palette from the same brand, and we're going to go ahead and just 
pop that really lightly on that outside corner, the very, very outside corner. All right, so to finish off this look completely, I'm gonna apply this Bordeaux Boulevard lipstick from Wet n Wild. All right, guys, so once your lipstick is on, this look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, of course, leave it a thumbs up down below. But in conclusion for today's uh, chit chat portion, I, I have to say, I really wish some of these bigger YouTubers would just calm themselves and have a nice big slice of humble pie because a lot of them are turning into these like mega divas, which by the way, I am in no way, shape, or form shaming them for being divas. Honey, I'm the last person who would shame anybody for being a diva. We should all have a little diva in us at all times, but there comes a point where you need to calm the fuck down and realize that, yes, you are a big star here on YouTube. Yes, you make millions off these amazing videos with amazing quality, doing these amazing looks. I get why it becomes so exciting for you, but just humble yourself and surround yourself by people who are real as fuck. The other thing I've noticed is that when when these already huge YouTubers come together to film together, both of their egos kind of combine into this monstrosity of an ego, and that can get the best of them sometimes, as we've seen with Manny MUA and Jeffree Star. Those two are best friends, which, by the way, that's on them. If Manny wants to hang out with him, that's his decision. I'm not gonna sit here and talk shit about him because he does. We are all our own people. And I feel like people need to realize that Manny is an adult. He can hang out with whomever he wants to. And if he finds that he has a good friendship with Jeffrey as opposed to Patrick, then that is what it is. I mean, I know it's become a big drama that Manny has kind of just dropped Patrick on his ass and headed straight for Jeffrey. But I mean, like I said, he's his own person. We can pick and choose who we want to hang out with and whether or not it influences us in a positive or negative way. That's solely on us and how we choose to go about the friendship that we're going into. So I don't know, guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think these influencers are becoming a little bit too bratty and entitled because of all these amazing things they're getting from these brands or do you think it's just another part of this industry so i will talk to you guys in my next video leave a like down below subscribe if you're not ready and i will see you guys next time i love you guys so much bye